uh, and the fallout from Sunday night continues. Uh, yeah. The Academy had its disciplinary proceedings and they claim that Will Smith refused to leave the Dolby Theater when asked on Sunday night. Oh, but wait, there's more. Uh, oh, Variety yeah. has sources uh, suggesting that there was, that's, that's not exactly true, that there were mixed messages being sent. Um, that there was basically like a, he wasn't formally asked. I mean, he might've been insinuated right, or implied, right, right. but, but our guy, Will Packer, who was producing, it was like, nah, you stay here. Um, according to variety. So it's not as cut and dry as the Academy wants to make it seem that, oh, we asked him to leave, but he ain't want to. Variety's got sources saying that's not well, exactly true. Well, but you can um, tell though, but you can kind of tell that was the case, right? With the way it was worded. Will Smith didn't follow the protocol. So it's almost like, in other words, you can read that as you're supposed to know what the protocol is. You're supposed to know how we do things around here and you don't do, you didn't do it the way what, we expected to escort himself, done. escort himself yeah, out or, to me? Yeah, you know or just like leave on his own volition? Yeah. No, right, no, they yeah, made it exactly. seem like they asked him to leave and he refused. Like, they, they made it, they're like there's a last line. We would like to clarify that oh, Mr. Yeah, Smith yeah, was right. asked to Smith leave the ceremony to leave and, refuse. and refuse. We also recognize we could have handled the situation differently. So again, that's the Academy's official stance, but sources are telling Variety it's not that cut and dry. But let me, but let's go back to Chris Rock, who you know um, appeared in Boston last night. You mentioned earlier this week you got you got tickets. Uh, you, so yeah, yeah, man. Tomorrow night. What do, you, what do you expect? Damn. You're obviously excited. What do you expect? I'm, I am hyped. I've been hyped for um, So I was hyped, obviously, before this. And then yeah. I thought, my first thought was, oh, is he about to cancel? <laughs> is he going to cancel because of this? So I'm glad he's actually, I, I saw some footage, you know, local news is all over it. So Chris Rock is here. Chris Rock is in Boston. I know that. And now we know from uh, the audio, he actually did the show. I saw a review on it in the Boston Globe. Apparently very good. You wouldn't expect anything less from Chris Rock. Now yeah. I was telling uh, a, a friend of mine that I do expect him. This is before the first show because we've got the last show. Uh, he did his first one. What yesterday was Wednesday. Wednesday he's got one tonight, and he wraps it up tomorrow. So we've got. I hope it's the 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 cleanup spot so he can just let it all out. But I told a friend of mine before Wednesday. I said, I think in the first 15 minutes. He's going to talk about it. He's going to say something funny. Um, it, it, he won't rip Will Smith, but he'll just give uh, a, a Chris Rock storytelling session on what happened from his perspective. Didn't do that last night. I expect it to happen on Friday. I really do uh, because mm -hmm. I, do, I understand he is processing it and there are probably a lot of people coming at him. I don't know if Will Smith has reached out to him or Will Smith's uh, rep uh, representatives have reached out to him. I don't know. Maybe that's part of it. Has Jada reached out to him? Like there are lots of things that that we don't know. And depending on who's in his ear, maybe that informs the step he takes in comedy. Or Mike, I don't know what you would do. Some people say, "Look, hey, I put my work in already. I wrote my I wrote my special." I wrote yeah. my, I, I spent an hour on this. I'm good. I don't have to think about it. You know, as you know, when you write something, Oof. that's okay. That's done. <laughs> I'm just glad I got that out of the way. I ain't trying to come up with no new stuff. No, I ain't you know trying to be like clever. I like got a, it. No, you know, it just hit me like a ton of bricks is like as somebody What's who's that? been through quite a bit of shit himself, uh, quite Talk a bit of it. public speak on it. Speak on drama it. himself. Speak on it. I, I know those conflicted and I would never pretend to, I've never been slapped on stage at the Oscars. I would never pretend or portend to know what Chris Rock must be feeling mm -hmm. or what he must be processing right now. So to act like how I would handle it is like why even go there because I would never experience something like that. But I just know in my situations, plural, um, mm -hmm. it's really hard um, to bite your tongue and much like people have much like people have talked about how Will Smith's actions didn't happen in a vacuum. Chris Rock's personal journey and where he is in his life are certainly contributing to how he would handle this. But check this out. Let, let, we talked about this yesterday at the end of the show when you talked about just how you, how, you know, something occurred to you 
after the fact. It's Thursday yeah. now. All right, it's Thursday. Yeah. yeah. Again, I said that. See, yesterday, I don't, I don't like being the last person at the club. I don't like being the last person at the party. Yeah. So, you want to make a deal between me and you? I mean, you're going to the. All right. Okay. Something, something big, notwithstanding. Something major, yeah. notwithstanding. And by major, I mean Will speaking on it, Jada speaking on it, Chris speaking I on it, I maybe at the saying. show on. Like, I, could should this be the? Should, can this be the last? time we talk about it because I just don't I don't want to be the I like I hate beating dead horses. Yeah. What do you what do you say? You think could, could, should this, could this could this be the last time we talk about it? Tentatively. Notwithstanding yeah. something. Okay. Yeah, you're right. right. Tentatively. I, I, right. But you know, you, you know why you know why it's so because it's shocking. My it's shocking. It well, it's shocking on so many levels, but just just think about the guys involved. Think about the guys involved. If, if if you were told I hate playing this game, but okay, let's do it anyway. If somebody tells you <laughs> yeah. before the Oscars, <laughs> right, right, before the Oscars, God no, somebody, God got, no, right, right, God I hate no. It. Some, I think I somebody, think I think the Chris Rock getting slapped is actually yeah. more likely than the dude doing the slapping. I can't even, bro. Right. It's hard for me. It, right. It's hard for me, bro. Right. I, I could. I told you how much I like this reboot of Bel Air. I told you how much yeah. I love it. I can't watch this Bel Air. I watched it the other night. I cannot watch it without seeing the real Will Smith. And I'm like, I'm looking at the kid. I forget his name. I beg your pardon. I'm looking at the guy doing a hell of a job playing young Will. Okay. I'm watching him saying this dude is the sky is playing a dude disguised as another dude. Like this dude <laughs> is playing a dude that just slapped Chris Rock at the Oscars. I'm like, I, I guess I can't. Right. It's, 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 oh, I, I can't get out of my head. It's, I can't. So right. I'm with you. If, right. If you had told somebody. Before the Sunday night, like guess what's gonna happen tonight? Oh man, oh, I mean, it is shocking. Of, of all people, of of all, of all of people, all people. And, and of all people and at is, all places, yes. And this tells you how powerful, like never, never underestimate, like on our our small, our small little corner of the world. Okay, we're very small corner of the world, you and I, but mm -hmm. never underestimate this. Like entertainment and, and, and media, you know, it brings joy to some people and people you, believe it or not. You think, hey, I'm just I'm just Michael Smith. I'm I'm, I'm Sarah's husband. I'm, I'm Savannah and Mason and, and Maya's dad. I'm just I'm just I'm just a dude. I'm just I know who I am. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> to, 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 to continue your quote. Yeah, um, yeah. Or if I look at me, I'm saying, like, hey, I would just before there was a kid from Akron, there was a kid from Akron, me. But for somebody, what we do, it, it really brings them joy and they identify and they relate to us. So if something happens that is out of just that lens that they see us through, it just yeah. really messes them up. And that's a small example. We're a small scale. It's kind of like when they say, don't meet your how, heroes. Like when they yeah, say, don't meet your heroes, we kind of like saw an ugly side of a hero. Yeah, right. And I know I know Wilson like everybody's got critics. Everybody has people you think everybody like there's no one who likes everybody. There's nobody who's who's loved by everyone. But Will Smith for the most part. A pretty beloved his approval ratings oh, were yeah. pretty high. Oh, yeah, and especially I gotta old say, Will Smith, especially Instagram. Will oh, Smith. yeah, like this. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. Right. Yeah. Everything about him, yeah. just the laugh, the characters that he's played, just the personality that he's the, or, or the persona that he has shown the world. Now, I don't want to say and this is this is very dangerous because when somebody does something now we start digging, we start digging. Has he have the old tweets thing? <laughs> has that happened? That's what we do uh, in 2022. Oh, he did that. Let me find something else. Let me find something else. Let me expose him as a fraud that he is because if he did this thing, then there must be tons of things in this background and I'm not I'm giving his book back and I'm not watching Independence Day anymore and and I'm not going to watch the Fresh Prince and all that stuff. It just really it he showed people a side of himself that they just had never imagined. And it's it's hard for a lot of people. And you think it's just an actor. He's just an actor, but for some folks it's not just acting. Yeah. He has been a part of Will Smith is somebody I remember 
I remember where I was when this happened and I was watching this show, this movie, or listening to uh, Will Smith trying to sound like Rakim on Summertime. Okay, I said it. Yeah, I mean, anyway, it, he tried, he tried. It's good to have uh, great role models. So it's just tough. And people have used the word trauma. I mean, now trauma may be exaggerated. You're shaking your head. You're shaking your head right now. I think I know no, why I'm you're shaking your head, but I'm listening. Go ahead. Uh, no, I'm listening. Go ahead. But I know you. I know you. I know you. I know you. I'm listening. No, no, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm, 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 I'm processing yeah. everything you're saying right now. And I got, I got a lot yeah. to say, but I'm just trying to, like, I'm trying to like edit myself. But I'm, I'm, all, I got I'm you. listening very intently. People, people I say got trauma. Continue. No, yeah. I got you, man. I, and listen, man. I, I, I've known you for a long time. I've known you for a long time. Yeah, so I, yeah, yeah. I got the, I got the uh, methodology for the most part. Um, yeah. Now tr trauma usually. I would say you've gone too far, but who's to say? Who's to say what 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 oh, the as, levels by of identifying trauma. it is as it, trauma? Okay, now when you talking about the people the who, most, who like like Amy the, Schumer and the Wanda peak? Sykes who say that right. they're traumatized, you're talking about those people? Okay, right. Yeah. right. Well, I told you is I couldn't the sleep of, the night it happened. So was right. that a right. was that my body reacting to it? I don't know. Right. Is it the peak of trauma? No. Mm -hmm. But on 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 the on the shades of it. The shades of yeah, it has trauma. It has traumatic uh, shades to it. I understand that. I understand how people yeah. feel that way, and it's really tough for me. I, I don't know <clears throat> how you look at it. Now, yesterday, as I told you, local news is all over this in Boston because Chris Rock is in town, and I'm telling you, they must have shown it ten times in a four-minute segment. And after the second time, I said, I, stop. I was saying to myself, stop showing it. The slap you mean? I can't look at it. Yeah. I watched another telecast that's got I it can't blurred look at out. It. I think some people are making an editorial decision to not show it because it's like you could see it, but like behind a fog, behind a haze. So you know it's happening, but it's not showing the actual incident. I think I'm, I imagine in some newsrooms, people are having that same conversation. Like stop showing it. Stop showing this. It's enough. This violence. Yeah. Well, and some people would say it's enough. Enough is enough when it comes to talking about it. So I, that's why I asked you about could this be the last time? Because I, I just don't want it to be overkill. But if this is going to be the last time, I want to. I want my last word to be one word, and that's and. The word and. So. Yesterday at the end of the show, after you told me about the revelation you had about the delayed reaction from Will Smith, remember I said, yeah, let's talk about it tomorrow because I've been spending the last few days just like reflecting, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, I, from Sunday night, I want, you know, how did I feel about it immediately? All day Sunday, how did I feel about it? This morning, I had a conversation for the first time since the incident with one of our colleagues at NBC and he was like, yeah, I was going to text you on Monday you know, your thoughts. And I was like, well, and I, I got into it again. Like I've had iterations of this conversation over and over off camera, not to mention with you for the last four days, right? So I've been thinking like, especially because you and I have been, you know, we've been pretty passionate in our discussion and at times debate about it. I'm just like, yeah, yeah. It, you know, am I missing something? Am I, am I, am I, you know, do I have a blind spot? Do I have it wrong? Am I, am I coming at this from the wrong perspective? No, I'm not. I don't believe I am. And I think I think I'm mature enough and self aware enough to where I could acknowledge if I were wrong. So I think yeah. what it comes down to Michael is m like you, like everybody else, my worldview and my experiences are coloring my perspective. And my worldview is two wrongs do not make a right. But as I said the other day, don't start and I won't be none. And in a, in a little bit, we'll have Brandon Newman, our social media coordinator, not, not now, but in a few minutes, he'll come and, and, and share some more comments with us because people have been Good consuming comments. a lot of our content, like everybody else's content. Like this topic I'm sure. is driving a lot of activity on, on the internet. And I'll come back to a point about the internet in a second. But somebody tweeted me the other day that they were, you know, disappointed with me as a black man. 
Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Because uh, I was, uh, because I was condoning whoa, with Will Smith. Hey, Dave, 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 Dave. Um, because I was condoning what Will Smith did, and I was using feminist talking points. And I said, feminist. huh, I said, huh, here I am thinking I was perpetuating toxic masculinity. Uh, so I, I don't I don't know how I, 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 I which one yeah. am I doing? Which one am I guilty of? I, 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 I'm, I'm confused. I can't keep up. So I'm saying to myself, you know what? The, you know what it is for me, Michael and I and Again, I, I think you meant that, that for me. Yeah. Remember, remember you said the other day somebody came at you and it was meant for me. I think he meant it for me. I was the one. He, no, he probably meant no, it. No, I don't. Because I, because I, I mentioned toxic okay. masculinity. Right. He didn't say that. Well, oh, I, I don't know. Okay. Uh, no, I'm no. I'm saying right. here I was thinking toxic masculinity. He, he, it was the person accused but no, me. Of but I actually, perfect. but I actually said it. I actually said that. I actually said I know. that this was. No, I know. But he said, yeah. but he said feminist talking points. I, I, I don't know. I, hell, I can't keep up. Okay. And I, again, I got. It's, it speaks to a larger thing about the internet. And I wasn't insulted by that. But I, I'll, I'll get to it. What I, what I mean in a second. So. I think the word but is a trigger word for you and others because I think there's a, a large percentage of the population um, and our audience, but just people in general who think there are no if ands or buts about it when it comes to Will Smith should not have done it. He should not have walked up and slapped Chris Rock. And I think I told you I don't disagree with that. I just would add to that the and and that and is Chris Rock should not have insulted Will Smith's wife in that very personal and public way. So I think there are people who are just like this is like Will Smith was out of pocket. And then there are people who a small percentage of people over here who are like Chris Rock had it coming. I'm not over there. There's a growing group of people who are like stop talking about this move on. <laughs> and then there's a, a, another group of people yeah. that and this is where I live which is in the in the club of yeah, Will Smith shouldn't have slapped him. But and whichever one you prefer, he didn't do it out of nowhere. He didn't just get up and decide, you know what I feel like doing in the middle of Oscars? I feel like slapping this dude. He was provoked by a, an act of violence in its own right. He was violated. His wife was violated in their own right by Chris Rock's joke. And here's my commentary about the internet. I think you know, if I can get on my high horse and put on my, my, my white oh, wig, on. Michael, if, you, if I may, you know, yeah, yeah, I think, all right, come on, come on now. Come on. I think that we live in a, in a day and age with the internet and with social media where way too many people cling to the notion of not just free speech, but the ability to say what they want to say about who they want to say it whenever they want to say it free of consequences and repercussions. And I think people are so used to jumping in the comment section and so used to jump to, to, to tweeting and so used to, you know, uh, you know, Facebook messages and, and direct messages and, and whatever you want to any method methods you have of, of, of expressing yourself to the world or to certain individuals in the public space. I think those people see a lot of themselves in Chris Rock. Everybody fancies themselves as, as a comedian these days, right? Everybody wants to do it for the likes and the retweets and the hearts and 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 and, and, and the, the, the validation and the laughs and we're gonna get these jokes off is what we're gonna do. Right. Furthermore, yeah. I think a lot of people feel extra comfortable commenting on Will Smith and Jada Pinkett in particular, given how open literally and figuratively their marriage has been open in terms of their lifestyle, but open up in terms yep, of how yep. they've been about their marriage. So everybody got an opinion on Will and Jada and what they should and shouldn't do and how they should and shouldn't feel. And so I think you have a lot of people who are just so comfortable and this goes back to my worldview, Michael. I, 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 I think and we've had this conversation about players and fans. I think that too many people are comfortable and too many people walk around day in and day out not knowing or not feeling the threat of getting slapped or the threat of getting your ass whipped like I did coming up. Maybe it's the New Orleans in me. I don't yeah. know, but I was just raised. Watch what you say to people. That does not mean that Will Smith should have responded in that way. I wish to God he would not have, but I think there is room for both of these dudes who have been wrong in their own way. 
and for both of them to have been out of pocket. Michael, I'm just about reciprocity. I just, I'm just about balance. I believe that respect runs both ways. Now, if that means for the people out there listening or, or, or watching or whatever, if that means that I'm condoning Will Smith, then call it what you want. I'm strictly talking about how I live my life. And I, I like yeah. to respect everybody. Even when I brought up the other day, you know, I brought up, you know, my training or whatever, which teaches me to know that anybody out here could give it to you. Don't judge a book by their cover. Don't assume that somebody is just going to take and what and, and everything ain't funny to everybody. So how you right, or right. I process a, a joke about well, uh, Jada Pink's Jada Pinkett's appearance. I can't say how somebody else should process that. So that's all I've been trying to say all week. And I sat there because this is what I like to do in uh, self. You talk about it. You do it all the time. I know Michael self reflect and time. film study and yeah. like, you know, am yeah. I am I am I wrong? Am I just completely out to lunch yeah. on this? I'm like, no, I'm not right. No, I'm not because I, I want respect. As a matter of fact, I'm I meant you to say I'm more right because I want the respect to go both ways. I want like both of them cross lines. They shouldn't have crossed. There's room for there's room for both of them to be accountable. And if that makes me the bad Do guy, think, then take a look at the bad guy. Well, you're not. You're, well, you're, all right, Billie Eilish. <laughs> uh, no, that's Scarface. No, no. That's uh, Scarface. Oh, that's Scarface. But you know, but hey, like, hey, man, the modern the modern example is Billie Eilish. You know, anyway, you need people I, I like me. You, you right. need people to point your finger at. <laughs> I got a couple of questions for you. A couple of quick questions. Okay. One. And then we'll bring in Brandon. Take your time, but we'll bring in Brandon. You ain't got to be quick. I wasn't. Do you think um, do you think Will Smith believes the apology he put out on Instagram? Ooh. Oh, wow. Ooh, binary too. I wasn't. What did you think of the apology? I was like, do you <laughs> Yeah, right, right. Um Yeah. God, I hope so. And I think so. I really do think so. Okay. Well, I, if, I, I think so, and I hope it, so. If he believes it, he disagree. You, he disagrees with you, because he said mm -hmm. I was wrong. And I said that. He did. I never. Okay. I, I no, said but, he. I've, but I said he was wrong. But you say, I know you said he was wrong. But also, but you think that there was some violence coming from Chris Rock. Now he, it wasn't. A well, he also, he also said it. He also said at the beginning, but a joke about her health condition is something I could not she, bear. I could not bear. I could not bear it. Right. Right. So he didn't say he say I couldn't bear it, but he didn't say he had it coming. Or right. Hey, you know, he should have. <laughs> his father should have been. Hey, there's no excuse. No excuse whatsoever. Nothing. There's there's no. Yeah, I just shouldn't have done it is which is what Here's he should another said, question. Here's another question. I think he I believes it. Yeah, go ahead. When you when you get into uh, now, it's been a long time since I got into a, a fight, a physical fight. It, it, it mm -hmm. was short. It was short. <laughs> <laughs> in your favor? In, in, your, in your favor? No. No, man. <laughs> He's not in my favor. Not in my favor. Oh man. I was probably like. I'm sorry to hear. I was probably like. I was probably like uh, 16. Now, now the guy should have been ashamed of himself because I think he was like 20 something and I was like 15 yeah. or 16 and it was on yeah. a basketball court and you know, Mike, I know you find this hard to believe. He thought I was playing a little dirty. He thought I was playing dirty, oh, <laughs> dirty basketball. Not you. Not you. <laughs> not me. Not me. You, you are so, an irritant you know, on the basketball court. You are yeah. like Patrick so Beverly little, meets Draymond Green. Oh my <laughs> you're God. Right, you're right. So my little 15, 16 year old self, other 15, 16, I said, oh yeah, well you ain't gonna do. And okay. And that, that's the last I heard the, that echo, and then all of a sudden, boom. I was like, woke up oh. it was next week. And and it was like three, four people standing over me. I say, and, and they got quiet. You know, that's how you knew it was a major L, because the dudes were just quiet. Ain't nobody even laughed. You're like, man, that wasn't even a fight. <laughs> okay, let's. Yeah. Hey, hey, all right, fellas, let's go. Come on, let's let's get back. Let's let's play ball. But anyway, right. my, my point is, do you think that when it comes to a fight, mm -hmm. that you owe it to your opponent to let them know that? You want to fight like in hockey. They tug on your okay hockey. They tug on your jersey tug on the jersey. Hey, we, we about to go. I, I'm letting you know. I ain't gonna come up to you punch you. Hey, we're gonna go or it's a loud argument. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, what's up? Oh, we got a problem. 
in this case, if you watch that uncomfortable video, Chris Rock is standing there. He's he's saying he's still oh, he's in laughing. comedian mode. Uh oh. Oh yeah, he's, he's like laughing. oh oh oh. He thinks, <laughs> like yeah, yeah yeah. He thinks he's gonna come Will up and Smith put his arm around. Say something in his ear or so, or say something. Yeah. He yeah. smacked him. Yeah. So I think it was on top of everything else. One word we didn't use is it's bullying. Not only was it an assault, it was he was a bully. Will Smith was a bully that night. He, it mm-hmm. was not a if you go if, if, if you want to fight at least make it a fair fight. I mean, I know Chris Rock ain't gonna be like, all right, come on, let's go. No, but it, was, like, it, hey. was, it was something. It was a it was a sucker slap, not punch. But okay, but but all right, yeah. and Michael, I don't disagree with that. You know what else Will Smith was that night? Was selfish. He was selfish. Yeah. He, yeah. he just decided yeah, no, I, I'm gonna make this about me. And as as people have pointed out ad nauseum, it's overshadowed the entire night for a lot of people who worked their entire lives to get to that moment. But again. I can I can I say this without this being interpreted as me? Yeah, oh, I got it. Condo- I'm hearing you. I got you. If if Will Smith bullied Chris Rock by walking up to him and slapping him out of nowhere, what did Chris Rock do with that joke at, at Jada Pinkett's expense? What would you call that? This is where we disagree. I would call it a joke. I, I would just I, I I would call it a joke and I understand and and I understand the seriousness and mm-hmm. maybe the the tension and and the the self doubt uh, and and some really you know long nights and long days on Jada's part of trying to deal yeah. with this issue. But the, la- the last thing I'll say I, I like your internet point a lot. And well, uh, well can, you know, I, can I can I interject can I interject before could, just just can I interject on that real quick if I may just, I, I promise yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll make it relatively quick you know given who we're talking about here no but you just said you know it was a joke for you but you understand the sensitivity on their part yeah whether it's weight weight jokes fat jokes some people may feel good about their body other people may drive into depression if you make a joke. Yeah, I don't yeah. think he would mind me saying yeah. this because he's our brother. I don't think he mind me talking about him when he's not here. But you know, Vinny Goodwill hit me up and was like, "Hey, man, you know, my fault on a light skin joke." I'm like, "It's cool, man. We, we're good." I t- I could take it, but some people, some other people might not like that joke. You may hear a joke about your skin tone. Yeah, that's right. You may you may laugh at it. Somebody else might might be super sensitive to it. So and, I just think, and, and, and I get it. Yep. Yeah, somebody being a comedian and I know that that's what Chris Rock does and that's what that's, you know, I'm not trying to say we can't tell jokes or can't take jokes no more. I get it. But if I can get that, can't we just kind of have a little more compassion? This is what goes back to both ways for me. We have a little more compassion for the people who are the other end of those jokes who may not find them funny. Do they have to are, yeah. do, are they obligated to sit and grin and bear it because you do at their expense? That's all you about to say the internet point and then we'll bring yeah, in yeah, the internet. talk about the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah just real, you know, a couple of quick internet points. I think for the most part, you know, fortunately, um, look, but when, when when the internet, when the internet became a thing in, in the mid 90s, mm-hmm. I was already I was out of high school. I was out of college. So it, it really didn't shape my life like it does for for your kids and for mine. And so the one thing for me uh, that, that, that I that stands out is that we really have to protect. We have to protect uh, young people and not just our kids, mm-hmm. but other kids from just really overvaluing what it is. Now, it's easy for me to say because I look at it as a thing that wasn't there right. for me when I was 16 years old. And so I can I, I compartmentalize all the time. Oh, that's just Twitter. That's just Instagram. That's just Facebook. That's just Snapchat. That's not real for me, but for young right. people, right? That is that is well, everything. You said, so you said you that know. about players. You said that about the thin-skinned, rabbit ear players, yeah, who and invest so much of their energy into what people are and, saying. And, but it's a different. Yeah. It's, it's generate. It really is generational, and, I, and and I have to be mindful of of what it is for people who I love and and want to make sure that they're not getting any kind of false ideas about themselves, about people, about society, about boundaries. And that's the word, Michael. It's boundaries for for both of us growing up. There was something we had to fear. Now for you, you were told, hey, hey you better watch what you say. Somebody can you don't come know at who you. you're talking to. For me, I feared Maryland. 
That's my mom. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I feared her. That that that's who I feared. Right. And or anytime, some people, you know, some people yeah. just have a natural inclination to treat other human beings with respect. Unfortunately, we're not all wired that way. You're a nice person because you're a nice person. I like to think I'm a nice person just because I'm a nice person. Everybody ain't wired that way. So short of that, they may that's need right. a deterrent. So yeah, so I think what's missing is it's just about you know. So what what is the boundary for somebody who is is in that space of, hey, I'm just gonna tell some jokes. I'm gonna get this off. Is there a boundary? Do they say I I got no boundaries? Because this is just I don't have to I don't have to deal with these people. This is just this is my whole persona. I'm I'm playing a character. This is not really me. Yeah. I'm playing a character out here in these internet streets. I'm just trying to get people to laugh. So, uh, you know, skip you and your boundaries. Because there are no boundaries yeah. out here. No rules. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching Brother from Another on YouTube. Make sure you hit subscribe before you leave and be sure to watch us 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Peacock. Appreciate you.